What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and marketing is a very powerful tool and when you are Disney you have access and control of more forms of advertising than maybe any other company in the world. But something else that's very powerful is word of mouth and that finally seems to be taking hold of the box office when it comes to Black Widow. Now we saw the opening weekend numbers and I think all of us looked at that and said wow I'm a little bit surprised that it did that well but again this is Marvel this is the MCU and it looked like they had decent numbers from what they reported at the box office for a pandemic movie and also on Disney Plus but now that is absolutely taking a dive bomb as people understand what this movie is about. Now you don't just have the Marvel stands out there, the people that bought their tickets months ago. Now you're relying on word of mouth and it is not very good for this movie because it's not a good movie. I have been trying to tell people this over and over again. Is it the worst movie in the world? No. Is it the worst Marvel movie? No, Captain Marvel is still out there when we're talking about the MCU. But this movie is not good. This movie tries to make a statement. It's about identity politics and virtue signaling. People do not like that. And the MCU is about to go down a path that nobody fucking wants. You can see the headline, box office, Black Widow suffers record 80% Friday drop. That is a record for Marvel, for the MCU. And this is uh, Scotty Mendelson reporting this. You also have Deadline reporting the same thing. Everybody is reporting these numbers because it is historic for a Marvel movie to see this kind of drop off. Black Widow got slammed by Space Jam A New Legacy, which we'll talk about in a second here. Space Jam A New Legacy, which everyone is touting as a great success. We're going to pair that, compare that with uh, the original one in 1996 and those numbers and what they mean. Don't worry. Uh, but it got slammed by Space Jam on Friday night, taking a brutal 80% drop from its 39.5 million opening day. The Scarlett Johansson starring prequel earned $8 million yesterday bringing its eight-day total to $113 million. That drop is on par with the 81% tumble of BVS and the 83% drop for Dark Phoenix, and it's by far the worst Friday to Friday drop for an MCU flick. It'll likely earn about $24.6 million for the weekend, down 69% from its $80 million launch. So there's a couple numbers we have to look at here. And uh, it, it will be very ironic the same people who tried to, uh, some of you were in my comments saying, how can you believe these box office numbers uh, are the same ones are going to be, look, look at the box office. People hate the MCU. You have to take everything into account, right? You can't just pick and choose what you want to keep. You have to look at everything. So were we impressed uh, for a post-pandemic, what Black Widow did opening weekend? Yeah, and I think Marvel is probably pretty happy with those numbers. But this, they will not be happy with. These numbers are not good at all because this is telling you the longevity of this film, the word of mouth of this film, and it is not good. So from Friday to Friday, we have an 80% drop-off. That is extremely bad, like they said, a record for Marvel movies. But when we look at what it's projected over the weekend, and we'll know more about these numbers tomorrow, that's nearly 70%. First weekend to second weekend. That is extremely bad. We're going to look at some other MCU movies and compare them as well. Bad news for Kevin Feige. It turns out that maybe people don't like to be force-fed this garbage in their movies, in their entertainment. Again, so that 69% drop, it's worse than the 62% drop on this same weekend in 2017 and 2018 of Spider-Man Homecoming and Ant-Man and the Wasp. And that for now, the 69.3% drop would be ahead of only, these are the only things it would be better than, Jonah Hex, Hulk, Hellboy 2, Dark Phoenix, and Steel among all big deal comic book movies. That is not a good place to be in. Now, people are going to say that, oh, well, it has to do with Disney+. Plus. Of course, that you have to factor that in. The fact that people can watch it on Disney+, Plus for 30 fucking dollars if they want to, yes, you do have to factor that in. But you also have to look at what's happening and say, wow, that is a big deal. It is clear that people want to go back to the theaters. Black Widow earning as much as it did opening weekend. Space Jam earning as much as it did its opening weekend for a dog shit movie. 
right? That is an indicator that people really do want to get back to the theaters. But that second weekend is telling you how well this film is going to do. And Deadline makes a good comparison here if you're going to try to defend Black Widow, if you're going to try to defend this drop-off as being something in the pandemic. If you think it's unfair to compare Black Widow to pre-pandemic MCU origin films, well, then know that her drop is even steeper than the second Fridays of Fast and Furious 9, 72%, and A Quiet Place Part 2, 68%. By the end of the weekend, Black Widow will count as $131 million at the domestic box office. So we have a movie in Black Widow that costs $200 million to make. Um, you have to assume about half of that, again, is going to be used for advertising. So about $300 million they've spent on this movie. Keep in mind that they had to advertise this movie at least twice, probably more like almost three times because of how many times they pushed it back, how many times they had a different release date set. They ran ads, they did this, they did that. So that number's probably even more inflated than that. Then you have to factor in the cut that the movie theaters are going to get. This movie does need to make, what, $500 million, $550 million globally, probably even more than that before they even start thinking about a profit. So it has a long, long way to go. This truly could be the first Marvel flop of all time. Now, uh, really quick, I, I, LeBron James is an absolute piece of shit. A lot of people are praising Space Jam for this $32 million opening. Of course, the only way they can do that the only way they can do that is to compare it to the sequel's opening. Easily beats the $27.5 million opening of Space Jam, not accounting for inflation. Just to bring everyone into perspective here, the reason they're not accounting for inflation is because with inflation, Michael Jordan's Space Jam annihilates LeBron James. Let's just... Let's just take a look. As you can see, even though it only opened in about 1,500 less theaters, on November 15th, 1996, $27,500,000 for Space Jam, the original one, the superior one. What would that be in today's money? Oh, that's right. $47.6 million. So uh, not even close to sniffing the opening weekend domestically of what the original Space Jam made. When you actually factor in inflation, which is kind of important when you're talking about a 25-year difference between releases. But everybody wants to defend LeBron James. They're going to do their absolute best. But uh, we will shoot it straight. We will tell you exactly what's going on. Black Widow, however, not good news for them. Terrible news for them. Kevin Feige, your chickens are coming home to roost. When you told everybody what the MCU would be about, when he told us what he was going to do, that he was going to tear all these male characters down to build all these female characters up, it turns out that maybe, just maybe, the audience doesn't like that. And now Black Widow is suffering in the box office. Truly could be the first real MCU flop Whoa, man, not a good thing for Disney, not a good thing for Marvel, but as someone who's, uh, who wants good entertainment, who doesn't want them to continue to destroy the legacy and the lore of these characters, I'm really happy right now. Uh, what do you guys think about these box office numbers? Again, you got to take the box office numbers at, you know, at face value, unless we have actual evidence that something's being spun a certain way. So when we told you that it was positive news for Disney, that opening weekend was better than a lot of people thought it would be, well, now we're also saying the same thing about this weekend's box office numbers. You got to look at both. And this weekend is going to be a disaster for them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.